I like these chords a lot. They're so great. I'll get sick of them eventually. And then I'll do other chords that you probably heard before. And I'm sorry. But there's only so many chords I can play when I'm driving, okay? Is anybody else playing keyboard when they drive around? Probably not. Probably not. So don't complain. Unless you're gonna do something better. Something different than what I'm doing. Is there anybody else out there that's doing what I'm doing? Probably not. And I'll stand by this until I rot. Cause I think it's pretty good for what it is. Might not be the best thing. Might not be the most talented thing, but at least it's something better than what you're used to seeing. Go ahead, go ahead, thank you for the turn signal, I'm glad you did that instead of just cutting in front of me like so many people do. Anyway, sorry I got distracted. And many people would say that this is a distraction what I'm doing, playing, 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 playing. Not just playing keys, but playing jokes on myself. Well, this world is a joke in itself. And I'm always messing around. But at the same time, I know that I think thoughts that are pretty profound. So I might seem silly, but that's because I'm so serious. And I don't think I'd be a comedian if I wasn't so depressed, you know? Most comedians are. But they do everything wrong to deal with it. The answer is inside the church. But all the churches have been infiltrated by liberalism. Liberalism. Can't say that word right. Liberalism. Libertinism. That's what it is. I do what I want. I do what I want. I don't care about the consequences. I flaunt my hedonistic lifestyle and I say that God still loves me. Well, you're not totally wrong about that. But you know, if you loved God more than you loved yourself, then you would want to hurt yourself and you wouldn't do things that destroy your health. But go ahead and say that I'm in a cult. That's fine. It's the best one. At least I'm not obsessed with a sports team. Or obsessed with a politician that I think is gonna clean up this mess that has always existed. It's kind of ridiculous. Just saying. Whether it's the St. Louis Rams or the San Francisco 49ers, you're still worshiping the same team. And whether it's a Republican or a Democrat or, God forbid, a Libertarian, what are they doing? What are they doing? <laughs> saying they're gonna do something, right? <laughs> That's also ridiculous. They're all the same. 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 
They're all the same. They're all the same. Aren't you tired of this refrain? Well, it's up to you to do something different. It's up to you to challenge yourself and grow and evolve and move on from this piss poor attitude that you've got. That it's everybody else that's got to do something for yourself. No, 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 no. You miss the mark every time in every way, but it's fine because everybody's missing the mark. That's what sinning is in Greek. I know, I drink coffee and that's a sin, right? It's a sin to alter my mind with caffeine. As long as I don't abuse it, right? You gotta be careful, you gotta watch yourself, you gotta be on your P's and Q's. Luckily, we got a camera crew of self-awareness. Does anybody else have that? I don't think they have one camera crew member inside of their head, dude. I'm utterly convinced that nobody's got self-awareness in America. Back to the song. <laughs> Can I start a self-awareness movement? No. <laughs> it's just people bettering their life because they think way more than twice. It's people that want to do God's will instead of my will, his will, her will, your will. And I gotta watch out with these labels that I give myself Because I think that the only label that I need to give myself is a God person I'm a believer, not a deceiver, though many would argue that And that's fine, they don't have to agree with the way that I look at anything Cause I don't agree with them either. That's okay too. I mean, you don't have to tell me that the word lie is in the word belief, okay? We know that. Sorry, we gotta we gotta end the song abruptly because we have to turn onto the street. And we are driving before. We are doing what we are doing. Yeah, I was just reading uh, this article about how um, Jesus is based off of the sun god. Yeah, that's why he's called the son of God. That makes sense. And then you look at The 12 disciples that are based off of the, um, what is it called? Zodiac. Yeah, there are all kinds of speculations you can make. You don't have to tell me. Like, people that say, well, your religion is a sham. I believe it. I have faith in it. I have faith in it because of how much I feel it. Because God's in your heart. So the intellectual side of it, I couldn't care less about. Because I know that it's the truth because I feel it. And I'm, I'm not discounting any of what I've Anything that people say about that, like, comparisons that you can make to, like, you know, 
mythological stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, people worship in the sun and all that. Yeah, because the sun gives you life. So... I'm not kidding myself. I'm not one of these sheep that just blindly follows whatever I'm told about things. I'm going by my instinct, I'm going by my intuition, and I just feel it. So, if I get something out of... Um, go into my church and oh. Oh. don't I have such a glorious ass isn't it so beautiful you saw nothing okay yeah I get something out of it And it helps me to be a better person. And I see so many people whose lives have changed remarkably because of their belief in God. And yet, we're supposed to just discount that and say, well, that's all a sham. I mean, you don't have to tell me that like religion is a sham. Follow the money, right? That's in all the religions. So I'm very up to snuff on Christopher Hitchens and all that. Because I listen to all kinds of iconoclasts and secular people. I don't feel threatened by them. And I understand their view and I understand like why they see it the way that they do. So, I just know that I really understand everything that Jesus is trying to communicate. And because of that understanding that I have, I'm going to keep going along with it, you know, because that, that makes logical sense to me. So it's not just about my emotional, um, because I know I'm emotional. So it's, it's not just about the, that sentiment. It's about, you know, logically this makes sense as well. But, I mean, what, what if it's all true? You know, you ever consider that? What if it's all true? You know, I'm going to piss people off no matter what. I'm going to piss off secular people. I'm going to piss off Christians. I'm definitely going to piss off Jews. Right? There's this Jew that got mad at me. <laughs> On Rumble. They got mad at me. Imagine that. <laughs> My goal is to piss off as many people as possible. Because I make them question their reality. Because I'm the queen of questions, okay? So, don't think you're going to stump me, son. <laughs> See, I question the smartphone technology. That's why I don't have one. Hey, look at what time it is. Isn't that awesome? Guess who's high on life? 